Hi and welcome to Leslie Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. This is my Mother's Day card for my mum this weekend. Um, obviously this video is going out afterwards but it gives you an idea of what I've done. I'm going to make another one very similar to this and these will fit in a standard envelope as well so you can send them through the post. A couple of stamp sets I've used. I've used the teeny tiny sentiments for the Happy Mother's Day and then I've used the Bod Botanical Blooms stamp set. I've used the paper and I've also used the dies that go um, with it and if you bought all of these together as the bundle not only will you save 15% you'll also um, You'd be into, be also be able to get a free stamp set or paper pack or we've got glitter tape now um, so yeah so this is really the time to to get something like this because you can get you know something else for free the cardstock I'm using today is Hello Honey and I've found this card online uh, through another stamping of demonstrator in the US and I've got a little bit of paper as well okay um, and I've lost my little book with all my dimensions on it but this is this is one inch by um, 11 inches and it's scored at two and three quarters and at five and a half um, and again this is 11 by four and a quarter inches and again it's scored at two and three quarters and five and a half inches and the paper is just quickly measure it for you two and a half by four there you go. Okay. As you can see on, on this paper here, it's really one of my of stamping up do, and I hope they bring out more like it, is you can use the stamps to actually stamp extra detail on the paper. So I'm just gonna finish off with the rest of this, which is in Hello Honey. So I'm just gonna get my stamp and inside the flower, I'm just gonna stamp the vines. And I think, yeah. so it just gives that a little bit more dimension and obviously you can add your wing castella to that and little bits and pieces. So I'll put that to one side and then what you need to do is, I mean, I'll get to them in a minute, you need to get your piece of paper and you need to put your double sided tape on and when you do your card you want to make sure that you've folded your card back onto itself so this bit's up the front line up your paper onto your front and push it down and then with this here you want to lay it about halfway on making sure it's straight and what I do is I get my Tombow glue I flip this over and I put glue but you only need to glue half of it so I'm just going to glue this bit here, just like so, and flip it over again, and press it down, make sure it's nice and hard, 
and then you just want to get this little bit here making sure it's all lined up and again you just want to glue this bit down and turn it over or turn it around Which way, whichever way you find it's easier and then just give it a good press so you might find you have a little bit left over so you just want to snip that off there you go and there's there's your basic fold for your card so give it in so it looks like that there you go. so next you want to get your black ink and I've got this one here and I'm gonna I've got Happy Mother's Day and I'm just gonna stamp it off so I know I've got it the right way around and then in bit on the banner bit here I'm just gonna push down for you to say Happy Mother's Day. There you go. That's all your stamping done. Okay. Also, with with them, you can stamp your leaves as well. I find it easier to cut them out and then stamp on them. And then I've done some flowers as well, and these just pop up. And I've the centre bits. I've just put them on, and then I've just put some Wink Stella on just to give it a bit of a shine. So I've got two of them, and then I've got four of these I might not use them all but <coughs> excuse me gives me the choice for when I'm putting the card together okay so with your first first one you just want to just lay it down where you would like it was no right or wrong with this you know if you want to add a leaf you can add a leaf if you don't want to add a leaf you don't have to And then I've got this one here. You want to make sure that whatever you add doesn't pass, doesn't pass this edge of a card or any of the edges. Otherwise, it um it won't go into your envelopes. Okay, so you just have a play, play around. Like I say, there's no right or wrong reason. You know, you can even put your card down like that. It will bend up a bit. But gives you an idea of where, you know, where you would like to put, you know, your decoration and stuff like that. So I, I tend to have one of the big ones either side with the leaves on there and then this one I might have a couple of flowers this time one of the leaves so mine looks like that and then all I do is I get my tom go Tombow and I just I don't put glue everywhere on the leaves, so you know there is a bit of movement. You know, so and again, just put it on the back of here. Just want to make sure that mine isn't overhanging the bottom of the card. And if you want to write, you can either write on the, you know, down here or just on the back. Personally, I'm going to be writing on the back so it doesn't interfere with the front of the card. But that's just my preferred way with this one. And then. In with this leaf 
you know. You can just build these up as much as you want and you can do them with different papers and things like that so like I said I've done most of the prep beforehand because there's a lot of cutting out on a big shot and can't always get my big shot on the table as well as everything else so So anything like which is left over here, I just have a little bit of a bag and I just put pop it in so when I do a leftover swap in the make it a mailer group, I've got things already ready to go. And also make sure that it doesn't pop on your fall. So just had to move that over slightly because it just popped off. There you go. So another, you know, once you've got everything cut out, this card is fairly quick to do, and I, you know, you, I just find it a very nice, different way of making your card, really. So you've got that one there, and then you've got this one here. Like I say, it just fits quite nicely into your, your envelope. Here you go, slightly different. I haven't put a leaf on the front of here, but it still looks really nice. So, two lovely cards, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye now.